In this video, I'm going to show you how to build out the workflows for your scalable content marketing machine, just like the greats like Gary Vee and Alex Hermosi. Let's do this. So let's jump in and talk about how do we build out your content engine? What's the plan behind that? And it always starts off with the team. So grab yourself a spreadsheet and let's describe the various roles in your machine. Let's describe those roles. Let's map out those team members, what workflows they're involved in, and then also a spot to identify their number one blocker right now. So these are the common roles you're going to have in your content marketing team, a subject matter expert. For my company, that's me. I talk about all things content marketing, like creating persuasive video to get business and also the systems to scale that out to multiple platforms. And there's also a machine architect. Who is the person that will man the machine? The single person responsible for making sure that the content is published on time and all the team members have what they need to be successful. On my team, that's Aaron. And then you're going to have video editors, copywriter, graphic artist, and then someone that's able to pick clips from long form content to repurpose into short form content. I'm starting to call that person a clip designer and just go through and just map out who on your team is responsible for these various roles. We'll come back to these columns after we've mapped out a particular workflow. So I'll show you a real life example of how to fill this one out, but I want to go through each column first. First comes the content creation framework. This is really just what is the event that you're recording? Is it a YouTube video? Is it a live Q&A? Is it a workshop? Is it a webinar? And then we define the playbooks. What are the individual workflows that happen from that recording? And for each workflow, what is the brand and channel that we're going to distribute content to? And what are the transformational notes that we need to keep track of in order to properly repurpose that content that was recorded to the specific brand and channel that repurposed content is going to? And does that workflow need copy and image media? And you'll understand this in more detail when I go into the example. And go ahead and link to a guideline that's going to describe how to actually convert that content. And what is the CTA for that given workflow? And who are the responsible team members? When are we actually going to go live? And have you added this workflow into your content schedule? So I use a content schedule that keeps track of all the content going out to the various brands and channels and then specific workflows for the team in terms of what they need to do on that day in order to make our desired output happen, in order to reach our desired output of content per day, per channel. And then I always like to get really granular with the number one blocker right now for any given workflow. And is that workflow complete? So let's dive into a real example like my YouTube videos. This will make it a lot more clear. So of course, every YouTube video needs to be published to YouTube, but I also take that YouTube video and make it a square so that it can be published to LinkedIn. LinkedIn's video is a square format. So to make sure that that content performs its best on LinkedIn, I convert it to a square. I also post that video to my newsletter, to my YouTube community. I also create a text post to promote the YouTube video. I have a teaser that goes out to LinkedIn a few days before. I also have another text post that goes out to my SGP Labs company profile on LinkedIn. And then I also repurpose that YouTube video into clips, which goes to multiple brands and multiple channels like TikTok and Instagram. So you can see overall, I'm just getting very granular with what I want to do with it, where it's going to go. The individual transformations that need to happen, and if a particular workflow needs copy and image or media. And with the more complicated workflows, I actually create a guideline and link to it in the spreadsheet. So if I click on my YouTube guideline, you'll see that my video editor has the proper guidelines to create my YouTube videos week after week with examples, screenshots, instructions for B-roll, the end screen. And the same goes for converting that video into a square. So you can see I've told them specifically what to do in order to make that video appropriate for LinkedIn. And then per workflow, what is the CTA that I want going out? Is it to book a call? Or from LinkedIn, is it to click through to the full video? Or for the teaser that goes out to LinkedIn a couple days before, is it to subscribe to the channel so when that video comes out, they know about it? And then for each workflow, I like to go through and mention each team member that's involved. And then if a workflow isn't live, I like to go through and add a go live date. When am I actually going to be executing this workflow and hitting publish on that content? And then again, have I added that to my content schedule? Does my team know on what day what they need to do? And as I roll out each workflow, I'm always identifying the number one blocker right now. And once it's complete, I mark it done. And once you have all of these mapped out, you can use your favorite software in order to implement it for your team to keep everyone organized. I personally use Airtable. Here I can map out my content frameworks like YouTube, my live show, any TikTok videos I create. And then I can create those various playbooks or workflows we talked about. And in my system, I can programmatically create all of these different workflows like the ones we created here. Here's the corresponding one for my YouTube videos. And I can make little notes for exactly which workflow it is and what the transformation is, when it should be published, the brand and the channel, those editor guidelines that we talked about. And what's cool is those editor guidelines get filtered through to my team as they work on everything. And then again, we can manage the CTA and whether that particular workflow needs copy, an image, or media. And then what's nice is the system is able to take all of those workflows all the way to distribution across multiple marketing channels. And then here you can see all of those content workflows getting executed, getting published on the proper date and time. And to 
the proper brand and channel. And then one final workflow to mention is repurposing long form content into clips. All my long form content comes into this Kanban style workflow where the team can manage the workflow of long form content. Then my clip designer can create the clips. My video editor can post produce those clips. And then of course, everybody has easy access to download that content and go into Descript. Descript's a great tool for finding clips and also video editing. So there you go. Make sure you do yourself and your team a favor and clearly identify all the types of content you are creating and then all the various workflows that need to happen after that recording is done. So if you like this video, make sure to check out the next video. I go much deeper on the technology behind building a scalable content marketing machine. I go in depth on Airtable and how you can implement it in your business. I will see you on that video.